guys, when I first became gluten-free, I literally went out and bought every type of gluten-free bread mix you could imagine. And I haven't used this one yet. It's by King Arthur Flour. But I have so much bread in my freezer, I've decided I'm going to make rolls using a muffin tin. I'm going to follow the directions on the back of the package, but I'm going to jazz it up a little bit by adding some Parmesan cheese and shredded cheddar cheese. I'm also going to put in some garlic and sprinkle it with sesame seeds. I'm going to be using my KitchenAid mixer, combine the butter, water, and eggs in one cup of the mix along with the yeast. Mix this, then add the remaining mix. You add one cup of the mix at a time, scrape the bowl down in between. Now I'm going to mix it on medium high for two minutes. After the batter beat for two minutes, I scrape down the bowl again. I'm adding one cup of shredded cheddar cheese and a quarter cup of Parmesan. And I'm just going to sprinkle in probably about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And mix that again on medium high. I let it beat for about 30 more seconds on medium high. It says to let it rise in the bowl covered with plastic wrap. I sprayed my plastic wrap with some cooking spray. So we're going to let this rise for about 30 minutes. The dough has been rising for 30 minutes. Use a spoon to deflate it. I sprayed my muffin tins with some cooking spray. Now I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to measure it out. I was able to get 16 scoops of batter out of the dough. So I had four extra, so I decided to experiment by placing them on a cookie sheet with the silk pat liner. I'm curious to see if they're going to stay rounded or spread out. I'm now going to cover both sheets with some plastic wrap spray with some cooking spray. I'm going to let it rise for another 20 to 40 minutes. They've been rising for 30 minutes. I carefully lifted off the plastic. I have one egg white that I beat up with a little bit of water. I'm now going to brush each of the rolls and then sprinkle some sesame seeds on them. I sprinkled on the sesame seeds. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. If you were baking the bread according to the package, it would take 50 to 60 minutes, but seeing how I'm making small little buns, it's going to take a lot less. Plus, I did add moisture by adding the cheese, so I'm gonna start checking it after 20 minutes, I'll let you guys know how long they take. And so far, these are still staying rounded. This is one of the free-formed biscuits. I put some butter on it. As you can see, it has a really, really soft crust. It's really good. So I just took the muffins out of the oven. You want to cook them to an internal temperature of... 200 to 210. Look how nice and golden brown they are. They came out really good. It smells really good, the cheese. I'm thinking next time I may make these a little bit bigger. They would make great sandwich buns. Wish you guys could smell the cheese and the garlic. Yum! So here's the inside of the ones cooked in the muffin tin. Once again, they're very soft. You know, I put butter on the last one. It doesn't even need butter. It has so much flavor. It's absolutely delicious. So easy recipe. Gluten-free buns in a muffin tin. Yum!